suppose you do a study of acupuncture to determine how effective it is in relieving pain. You measure sensory rates for 15 subjects with the results given. Use the sample data to construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean sensory rate for the population, assumed normal, from which you took the data. We're going to use StatCrunch to do this, so here is our sensory rate data. So it does say to assume normal. Let's assume it didn't say that, because not all of them will say that. We ordinarily, in the wild, with real data, we need to look to see if this data looks like it could have come from a normal distribution. So let's run a histogram on the sensory rate. Let's just take the default and see what happens. So that does not look wildly different from a normal distribution with only 15. You may want to look at a bo box plot or a dot plot. Let's look at a dot plot. So with only 15, kind of hard to see any anything going on there. Let's go ahead and look at a box plot, checking for outliers and things like that. I like to see my box plots horizontal, so I'm gonna flip that around. Again, fairly symmetric. And finally, we can do a QQ plot. Okay, and so th this is where these points lie roughly along this line. Okay, so once we sort of determine that the population could have been normal, we can go ahead and proceed with our T confidence interval. So go to stat, T stats, we have one sample, and we actually have the raw data. So select sensory rates, we're doing a confidence interval, and it says 95, so we'll leave it at 95. Now within this, you can go ahead and run some of these plots here. Almost always I'll run those before I even run this to see if I can even run it. So let's just, we'll leave it this way because we have already run those plots. Come down here and press compute. So here's our confidence interval. The sample mean sensory rate was about 8.2. The confidence interval is from, so we're 95% confident the true mean rate is somewhere between 7.3 and 9.2. And if we look at the by hand solution provided in the online text, that's exactly what we get. So I hope that helps. Another way these T intervals are often presented is they go ahead and give you the summary data. So if they went ahead and gave you how many subjects there were, what the sample mean was, and the sample standard deviation, you go to T stats, one sample, and that then you select with summary and you just put in the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, and the sample size, select confidence interval, and press compute. 